Hey guys, John here with AccessoryGeeks.com. It must be a great time to be on T-Mobile. You have two great devices to choose from, the T-Mobile G2 and the MyTouch 4G. And one of the biggest questions that I got over the weekend was which phone is best for me? So they're both really great phones. Um, they're on T-Mobile's new 4G network or their claimed 4G network. So their speeds are gonna be very great. This is also gonna be very dependent on where you're located. But from my experiences, we've had pretty solid performances between the two when we did get HSPA. Um, there are times when we usually only got Edge or 3G. So depending on your area and your coverage, you're not gonna notice that big of a difference between which phone actually gets better reception than the other. Uh, the only other difference between the phones are, um, one, the MyTouch 4G runs a second gen one gigahertz Snapdragon. The G2 runs an 800 megahertz Scorpion. Um, they're both pretty fast phones. I mean, you're not going to notice that big of a difference between the two if you were not really into, um, you know, the phones in general or not too tech savvy. You're not going to know um, or notice the difference. Not saying you have to be tech savvy to do it, but it's not going to be that big for you to um, to notice any lag between the two. But as you can see, the, the MyTouch does respond a little faster when flipping between the panes. If I go ahead and open up the app drawer, you'll notice that as well, that it just runs a little bit faster. Um, the Linpack scores are higher on the MyTouch as well as um, Quadrant, I believe. Um, this could be due just because it's a, a faster processor, but I don't even want to say that. But it, it could just be because it's a newer phone. Uh, they're both running 2.2 Froyo. Uh, they both have a 5 megapixel camera with LED flash, autofocus, both capable of recording 720p, and they are both equipped with a flash for your web browsing. The screen on the MyTouch is a super LCD. The screen on the G2 is an LCD. Uh, let's see, let's see what else do you guys want to know. Um, web browsing. Let's do web browsing real quick. Or right, let me show you um, the screen comparison. Let me go ahead and pull this up. Now here's a picture on the MyTouch 4G. Really bright colors, um, really good detail. Here's the same exact picture on a G2. Not as bright, but the detail's still there. So if you can notice the difference between MyTouch, G2, MyTouch, G2. So again, not that big of a difference, but um, the brightness on the MyTouch is a little bit better. Also, camera quality. Let me go ahead and pull up the gallery on this. I took a picture of an iPhone 4 using both phones. And what I noticed was the G2 produced um, a darker color or captured, I guess, less light than um, the MyTouch. I'm not camera savvy by any means, so I'm sorry if I'm not using the correct terminology. But here's a picture with the G2. As you can see, colors are pretty normal. Now here's the same exact picture with the MyTouch 4G. As you can see, it's a little bit brighter. Um, captured a lot more light. Same exact picture, same settings. I didn't change anything. It just looks a little different on the MyTouch than it does the G2. But as far as screen goes, I would give the edge to the MyTouch 4G. I personally just liked it better. Um, I thought it just produced better quality images compared to the G2. Um, let me go into web browsing really quick. Uh, both of these are on our Wi-Fi network right now. So let me go ahead and load up AccessoryGeeks.com. And then show you which one is a little faster. Although you shouldn't know that, you shouldn't notice too big of a difference. Give me one second. And they're both capable of flash. So um, if you go to any websites with uh, flash content, you'll be able to view it on both phones, which is also a huge plus. Um, over iOS, hoping they'll get that taken care of soon. Now let me just load 
giving both websites a chance to load up. Sorry for the delay, guys. Or sorry for the lag. It's still loading, so something might be wrong with our Wi-Fi. Might be running a little slow. But the MyTouch is already loaded, so so that's pretty cool. Um, quick demonstration. Here we have our YouTube video, our video of the day. Hopefully, it'll load up soon. And continue. But like I said, any YouTube videos, you can play it straight from the home page, which is a great plus. Um, web browsing on each is pretty smooth, pretty fluid. Here's on the G2. Let me zoom in. Okay, so as you can see they both run fairly smooth with one another. Pinch to zoom works well on both. Oops, let's stop. Just you know, pinch to zoom. As you expect, it works the way it's supposed to. So let me go ahead and refresh and see which one loads up faster. So go ahead and hit both of them at the same time. Well, there's the My Touch and G2 is still loading, so there might be something wrong with our Wi-Fi, so I'm sorry that the test isn't producing the results I want it to produce. But for, for what it's worth, they both browse the web fairly fine. Like I said, you're not going to notice a big difference between the two. Um, so that's pretty much going to give you a quick rundown of which phone is um, better for you. Obviously, I think the MyTouch does have a couple more features. The front-facing camera, how can I forget? That's going to be um, a big selling point for a lot of you who like to um, video chat or um, take pictures of yourself. But that's another big feature that I've heard a couple people want on a phone. Um, I personally could care less about it. I'm more for the keyboard. So, you know, that's kind of the give and take that you guys want to, you know, think about when buying both phones. Um, when it comes down to it, it's really just going to come down to the fact of do you need a keyboard or do you not need a keyboard? Both phones are extremely capable um, performers. They're, they're not slouches by any means. They're both very great qualities. Um, and they all have their plus and minuses. This one, obviously, the biggest drawback, I think, is the absence of a keyboard. Um, the biggest draw on the MyTouch is the fact that it does have a keyboard. Now, to some, that might not be important. To others, it might be the deal breaker. So that's another thing that you're going to have to factor in as far as, you know, what phone is going to be better for you. But for my own personal use, I personally like the MyTouch 4G. I think the form factor, the design, the weight, the function of the phone is great compared to that of the G2. And that's really not going to say too much because they are very similar phones. Um, it's going to really come down to personal preference. My biggest recommendation, go try both phones out and you'll know within a matter of minutes which phone is going to be best for you. Uh, if there's anything that I missed on this video, please let me know in the comments and I will try to address it the best I can. Until next time, this is John with AccessoryGeeks.com reminding you, you got it from a geek.